Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be telling you how you can create the single conveyor system animation using SolidWorks. And uh, first of all, let's take a look at all the components. So what we basically have here is this is the belt part. And an important thing is if you basically take a look at the two rollers at the end and if I'll move this roller, the roller at this side also rotates with it. So you can do this when you go to the assembly features tab and using the belt chain command when you will create the belt you can use, uh, also enable this engage belt as well so the two rollers at the end will move together and i'll be putting up a link in the description tab so you can check it out as well uh, on how you can create this belt part as well so these are the two parts at the end which are fixed and an important thing here is the fact that if i'll just show you some of the other components which are not there in the figure there are also rollers which are at specific distances from this end rollers as well. So if you basically observe the distance between this axis of the roller and this axis is about 400 mm. So I have put about six rollers extra in between. And therefore, and this is one of the most important steps that is there in this animation. And if we observe in the motion study, so you will have to enable all the solid body contacts between the object and all these rollers which you aren't able to see because I have hidden them if you click on show components which I'll just do in a moment so as you can observe that these rollers do come up and uh, an important thing is you can uh, simply create these rollers by uh, using this linear component option and then uh, typing in here the distance and choosing this as the direction so along these the rollers would be created so if you click on the component pattern so this basically shows you the direction in which all the components are coming up so if I click on 10, so as you can observe that these yellow parts are basically showing you the highlights or the preview of the rollers that would be created in advance. So after doing this uh, and enabling all the solid body contact between these objects on all these rollers, uh, then you can just apply a rotary motor to one of the rollers that is I have put a rotary motor on the last one as you can observe from this direction and again if I'll just move up all the components as you can observe all the rollers are mated in such a way so that they basically move together so if you are using the linear component option the mates also are made, uh, copied in such a way so that uh, you will get this complete moving of the other components as well so enable the gravity and then just click on play motion and this is how you'll get your animation created so that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to the channel if you like i'll be bringing up a lot more great videos ahead thanks